When big cats capture baby prey, they don't immediately tear into them like a pack of Cheetos. Sometimes they tease and taunt their terrified catch a little bit before eventually putting it out of its misery. So why waste time on such a seemingly no contest meal? Could they have possibly grown a conscience? Or caught between pure predator instincts and a sense of sympathy? Or maybe they just enjoy seeing the hopeless little critters scared witless and being such big jerks. It's a common theme for cats to play with their prey, such as mice, before they eat them, with the odd exception of Tom and Jerry. These adorable fuzzballs have an knack for teasing their prey by constantly taking deadly swipes at them to daze or weaken it, only for them to pick them up again once they begin to move. This sinister act continues until the prey is completely exhausted and doesn't have any glimmer of hope. It's almost like these cats love to feed these mice the thoughts that they can escape before snuffing it out again for their sick pleasure. We all know these cute and cuddly animals can be jerks at times, but do they play with their prey for fun or is there more to it that we don't know? Well, when it comes to the cute devil that annihilates all that crawls and runs around in your home, it doesn't do it for the fun of it. They're actually trying to tire and confuse their prey to a point where killing would be easy. You could say, why don't they just swoop in and kill the mice with one swift blow to the head? Aren't they like a hundred times bigger? But you see, cats being their egotistic selves hate to do all that hard work just because they're trying to make a meal of a little mouse. Also, they wouldn't want a mouse messing their beautiful fur up with some blood. Besides, since some mice would play dead just to have a chance to bite off a piece of the cat's lips along with them on their way to heaven, or wherever mice go when they die, cats aren't ready to take such a chance, so they make sure the mouse is too exhausted to pull any last-minute tricks. Okay, so cats don't like to do the work, but what about their bigger, badder, meaner cousins of the wild? Aren't they built for this type of thing? For big cats, playing with their prey isn't about all that. Getting food in the jungle is a whole other ball game, and they don't have it as easy as the domestic cat. Cheetahs have a lot of free time on their hands or front paws to play with baby prey from being fast at everything. For instance, after this cheetah caught this puny little calf, it didn't know what to do with it. It has never had to not chase its prey, so it was a bit awkward for the cheetah, and it decided to play with it. The cheetah would give the calf a couple of yards ahead, hoping it would make a run for it, but the little guy couldn't, and this left the cheetah perplexed. Run, you little gazelle! You're making this too easy for me! Come on, just a little sprint. After a while, the cheetah was able to snap out of its Stockholm Syndrome and put the now terrified and exhausted calf out of its misery. Okay, so couldn't this have been a one-off case? Well, it turns out lions do too. When this young, innocent prey wanders foolishly into lion territory unguarded, the lion had to first wipe its eyes in disbelief. Am I dreaming, or did that calf just walk in here alone? After the walking pace chase, you can tell that the lion could have caught its prey at any point, but he just let it linger a little bit just to make the calf feel he's doing great. Finally, after stopping the young lad, the calf turns and delivers the few self-defense moves it picked up from Mama but they're not enough to free him from the clutches of the lion. Still, what happened next left onlookers and animal researchers confused. Instead of devouring the calf in what would have been a cakewalk, the lion begins to stroke the calf almost affectionately. The lion looked like he wanted to play rather than eat it. However, this fantasy of having a calf playmate was soon extinguished by another lion that wanted a piece of the sweet little calf. The lion did what every person would do when they see a friend who's about to share a piece of their favorite meal, wolf it down ASAP. So we've seen a lion and a cheetah do it. How about leopards? Yep, you guessed it. It turns out these big cats are like their other cousins. The picture of a baby impala and a leopard alone in the wild is gory. You'd imagine the worst, but it turns out this leopard would like to play cat and mouse before having its lunch. The leopard tried a few wrestling moves with the calf to try to get it to join in the fun, but the calf was way too scared to play any games and too young to outrun the leopard. The calf occasionally tried to run, but the leopard would thwart it, leaving it with cuts and gashes. The leopard held onto the calf like a toddler playing with the family dog. It appears that it just recently ate the calf's mother and wasn't in a hurry to let him go just yet. However, we all know how this ends. 
It isn't a Disney movie out there in the wild after all. What do you make of these big cats? Do you think they're bad, calculated, or just big jerks? Let us hear your thoughts in the comments section. Okay, we've established that big cats play with their food, but why? Researchers have been studying this behavior for a while now and found some pretty interesting facts. Firstly, it depends on the age of the big cat. Younger big cats have been found to do this more owing to their lack of hunting experience, an abundance of energy to expend, and downright curiosity, while the much older predators don't waste time gobbling up their food. They love the challenge they get by encouraging their prey to get away. After all, they're new to this. Older predators can also put their killer instincts aside if the conditions are right. For example, suppose the prey doesn't exhibit its natural instinct of fleeing from danger. In that case, instead of running away from the predator, the prey runs towards it and begins to lick its face affectionately. The predator will be confused. That's a tip you should bear in mind if you ever get chased by a big cat. That crap scares the hell out of them. Just kidding, don't do that. There's an even darker theory that suggests that when big cats cart home baby prey, they do it with the sinister motive of luring even bigger prey, like their parents, to the dens with the baby's cry. There's a move Shere Khan of Jungle Book would be proud of. Way to go, son! So if you ever see a cat, big or small, playing with its catch, always have these reasons at the back of your mind. See you next time.